hello friends you see here on the screen that a notification issued from border security force for the recruitment to the posts of a stenographer as well as head constables that is sub inspector rank for stenographer and head constable rank uh, head constable consists the qualification of typing also there but we can concentrate on sub inspector steno so we can see here how many vacancies etc and which belongs to whose the category etc we can see but not in detailed but just i give information but if you are uh, uh, qualified i mean uh, if you are eligible for these vacancies just you go through the instructions given by the border security force department you see here we can see here right this one uh, detailed advertisement for recruitment to the post of assistant sub inspector steno cadre steno grade and uh, head constable ministerial in bsf 2021 22 for the year so here you see dear friends here asi i said sub inspector but uh, not like that assistant sub inspector stenographer uh, qualification also included for that for which uh, categorized here uh, only for st candidates are there 11 vacancies are there and for uh, head constable ministerial here in total 3 12 vacancies are there but here typing qualification is required for head constable so here two categories stenographer and typist you you may consider as uh, typist or head constable accordingly and you see here vacancies are subject to change may increase or decrease okay that is common may be possible or not and pay scale is given here that is common eligibility conditions age limit etc you see here between 18 to 25 years of age for scst 5 years relaxation are there 5 years relaxation is there uh, that means uh, 25 plus 5 years equal to 30 years may be considered for scst candidates uh, their only st vacancies are there 11 for assistant sub inspector steno grade so 30 years is there to apply if you are eligible and uh, we can focus only on the important thing you see here educational qualification for the post of assistant sub inspector stenographer and head constable also academic qualification is intermediate or senior secondary school certificate that is 10 plus 2 from a recognized board or university or equivalent dear friends that is and uh, skill levels uh for stenographer short hand at the rate of 80 words per minute in english and the same should be transcribed in 50 minutes on computer after taking dictation for 10 minutes you have to transcribe it in 50 minutes on computers remember and for head constables 35 words per minute in english is required to type uh, for skill test dear friends and after that you see here physical standards height uh, etc etc are given but i am not uh, 
focusing on all these things uh, you go through while you are applying this online mode you go through the instructions carefully and do accordingly only just uh, i go only important points you can see here so uh, see here selection procedure for assistant sub inspector steno and head constable ministerial level the selection shall be held in two phases as under first phase is written examination and second phase is physical measurement short hand test for steno typing test for head constable ministerial services documentation checking of documents medical examination and in this phase 1 in written examination you have to answer you have to face the questions from english language part 2 general intelligence part 3 numerical aptitude part 4 clerical aptitude part 5 basic computer knowledge in total 100 marks are there so you have to face that examination and uh, here there will be one composite paper for 1 hour and 40 minutes duration consisting of above five parts and will be omr based or computer based with multiple choice questions are there the question paper will be in bilingual that is in english and hindi and uh, you see here the minimum qualifying marks given here for unreserved category and ews category is 35% and for obc sc st 33% so uh, stenographer vacancies are given and there for 11 vacancies that is for st candidates so 33% is required minimum qualifying marks in written examination that is dear friends and uh, here you see phase 2 the candidates declared qualified in the written examination that is first phase will appear in the second selection phase at different recruitment centers as decided by the headquarters dg bsf the second selection phase will be qualifying in nature stages of second selection phase examination will be as follows second phase contains physical measurement one part and after that stenography test for the post of assistant sub inspector the candidates for the post of assistant sub inspector steno cadre who are found to be eligible in physical measurement will be allowed to appear in stenography speed test candidates who opt to take the test in english will be required to transcribe the matter in 50 minutes and uh, the candidates who make mistakes up to 10% that is 80 words will be declared passed and those who make mistakes about 10% that is 81 82 83 like that will be declared failed so dear friends here it is important to take down the dictation at, at the rate of 80 words per minute for 10 minutes dictation in that you have to reduce your mistakes below 80 if you cross the mistakes like 81 also negative 81 mistakes also nothing but it is 
called as failed it is treated as failed so within 80 mistakes you have to transcribe it on computers that is one thing dear friends please keep in mind and uh, candidates will not be allowed to bring use their personal keyboard mouse for transcription for shortened passage so that is the instruction given and typing test for head uh, head constables this is at the rate of 35 words per minute you have to type uh, for skill test for 10 minutes passage here you see dear friends typing test will be conducted only on computers which will be arranged by concerned bf bsf recruitment centers candidates will not be allowed to bring use their personal keyboard mouse etc for typing test so the department is not allowing you to get your personal keyboard or mouse to type to use them in the computer uh, in the uh, examination in the respective examination centers and after that documentation candidates to produce all their original documents of age proof educational qualification caste certificate and other testimonials required for above posts during documentation so that is the thing and these are all general instructions only i am not concentrating on that you see here drawal of final merit list after completion of first and second selection phase post wise and category wise merit list will be drawn separately on the basis of marks secured obtained by the candidates in the written examination in cases of tie in marks tie cases will be resolved in the following manner number 1 older candidate will be placed higher in merit second if the tie still persists it is finally resolved by referring to the alphabetical order in english of name of candidates the list of finally selected candidates will be published on bsf official website no waiting list shall be maintained or kept how to apply etc given here this is online mode only you go through the instructions uh, accordingly and you see the bsf recruitment portal url etc starts from 8th august 2022 that is yesterday at uh, 1 am i mean uh, uh, starts from 8th august 2022 and the last date i mean the online process will be closed on 6th september 2022 so dear friends uh, there is 25 days time is there from today onwards so you go through the instructions carefully if you are eligible and if you are willing to apply for this and uh, recruitment centers are given here i mean recruitment uh, the candidates for the post of steno and uh, head constable typist can opt for following centers for appearing in different selection stages of recruitment process few centers are given here just you see srinagar jammu jalandhar jodhpur gandhinagar delhi bangalore kudra odisha indore tekanpur hazari ba kolkata kadamtala guwahati imphal agartala shillong etc given so 
whichever i mean whatever the center given which one is feasible to you nearer to you you may opt for that accordingly and these are all the instructions to the candidates who are going to fill through online mode you have to read all the instructions carefully before filling of your online applications then only it is feasible to you otherwise if you go directly for filling online application without understanding of the instructions you may get an embarrassing situation so what i am suggesting you dear friends first you have to read all the instructions carefully and underline them you note down in a separate paper while filling an application and uh, keep ready your all certificates and photographs and uh, etc then you may apply for the procedure so these are all the instructions given here i am not going to in detailed way to give you information this is your responsibility to read all the instructions carefully you are being a candidate to understand all the instructions because you are going to face your examination of your own so that patiently read the instructions carefully and go through the instructions and apply dear friends anyway all the best to all of you who are the aspirants to apply for this and also i will tell you that keep in touch with your 80 words per minute dictation skill test whenever you are facing the examination after qualifying in written examination that is only not enough to you but you have to practice of your own at your respective institutes to practice at the rate of 80 words per minute for 10 minutes and the same should be practiced on computer and also keep in mind that you should reduce your mistakes below 80 only otherwise they cannot allow you to go for further process that is nothing but you failed in the selection process dear friends 80 words per minute is the required qualification but to improve your skill just you try to improve your skill up to 100 words per minute then it is feasible to you to do good in your examination dear friends so this is the information from my side and all the best dear friends and do good thank you